So, I saw three movies recently, and saw some of them earlier than sooner. That makes sense. Uh, so instead of doing one review for each, I decided that I was just gonna do, I was just gonna talk about all of the movies and those short increments in this video. And I try to keep it as short and as delicate as I can. The three movies that I am going to be reviewing are Maleficent, 22 Jump Street, and A Million Ways to Die in the West. I saw these three movies in the past couple weeks. And 22 Jump Street is probably the best out of all three of them, honestly. It made me laugh the most. It was the most enjoyable ride. And it felt really fun to watch. And, like, I was excited to see what was going to happen throughout the entire movie. Now, I know you can't really compare these three movies. You can't really compare them. Well, you can kind of compare 22, 22, it's 22 Drum Street. 22 Drum Street and Million Ways to Die in the West because they're both comedies. But you can't compare either of those to Maleficent. But you know what you can compare Maleficent to? Yeah, that's the segue can compare Maleficent to Frozen, a movie that did not come out that long ago, but yet there are so many parallels between the two, and they, they're barely a year apart. You have one, one movie, alright, here, I'm going to put down some stuff, and you tell me if it's Maleficent or Frozen. There's a miss understood character who is thought of as evil by a bunch of different people and this misunderstood character ha confines in a relationship they have with another female that is not romantic now that other female comes close to death very close to death and it is because of the misunderstood main character. Now, the only way, the only way to stop the dis them be from being close to death is true love. Now, which movie was I talking about? Both. Oh, and also, here's another little side bit there. They bring in a character that she hasn't known for that long, but that she thinks she might love. And they try to use that, and it doesn't work. And it was originally the misunderstood main character who saves her. Yep. You didn't realize... I was talking about both movies. Both movies have that many parallels. And I mentioned this to my sister, and she brought up, oh, well, Sleeping, Bu Sleeping Beauty and Snow White have, par have parallels too. Does that mean we shouldn't watch both of them? Well, first of all, I wasn't saying that we shouldn't watch both of them, <laughs> because they're both pretty decent movies. But Sleeping Beauty was like put out in 1949 while Snow White was put out in 1937. It's pretty far apart compared to Frozen being put out last year and Maleficent being put out, I don't know, this year? My computer keeps going to screensaver. Anyway, Maleficent, going back to Maleficent, it was okay. It wasn't that great. Like, the visuals were awesome. Was, they had amazing CGI. They had amazing landscape visuals. Their visuals was probably the highlight of the whole movie. How the movie was shot and how everything looked, that was awesome. Keep that. Uh, the movie's pacing seemed really, really off. It seemed like... I was I don't know, I couldn't really keep interest too much. I actually, like, halfway through, I kind of just wanted it to end, but it also seemed really quick to get to the ending, even though it's a two-hour movie. I don't understand. It, it, 
ah, I didn't like it. I didn't like the the pacing of the movie. It was it's really confusing to describe how I feel about that. Uh, there's a lot of jumps in the movie to different times, and I understand it's part of the story, but it's just kind of meh. Then, moving on to the next movie I saw, A Million Ways to Die in the West by Seth MacFarlane. Now, I don't usually see or recommend Seth MacFarlane movies, but honestly, it's alright. Like, I haven't seen Ted, so I don't, I can't really compare it to Ted, but it was alright. They had a lot of nice jokes in it. You could definitely tell that it was Seth MacFarlane's humor. So it was very family guy humor, you know, and there was a, but there was a lot of nice cameos in it, and the cameos were really cool and really funny, and like, there was a lot, it's a, it's, it's more you laughing at jokes than you laughing at, like, experiences in the movie. And it seemed, it was, it was alright. But, like, it, it was, like, better than Maleficent in the way that, like, the story was, the pacing was done better. Um, the, uh, the trailer kind of throws you for a mislead in there, and you can just, like, miss that. <laughs> and, like, you go to the movie, and it's completely different from, it's not completely different, but it's pretty different from the original trailer. Uh... Now, that movie it was pretty decent. It wasn't terrible. It, there was some moments where I kind of, eh, but it wasn't bad. Now moving on to 22 Jump Street. I didn't think this movie would have me laughing so hard. 21 Jump Street had me laughing for a while. I actually liked that movie, and a lot of people did, and it was actually conceived as extremely funny. Now this movie... I didn't expect them to, like, hit my funny bone, because I have a really weird funny bone, and I didn't think they'd be able to do it, but they did. They so did. Like, um, the entire movie is just them talking about that, they subtly talking about how it's a sequel until the very end of the movie <laughs> when they start, like, blatantly doing it. But they start, like, subtly bringing it in that it's, like, all oh, this is like a sequel and stuff, and they talk about, they make a bunch of different jokes. I don't want to spoil any of the jokes that they do make if you haven't seen it. But if you haven't seen it, why are you watching this video? It clearly says spoiler up here. Um, anyway, or I guess it down, is the title down there now? I don't remember. Anyway, 22 Jump Street was really fun. It's an amazing thing to see in theaters. Uh, it's probably the only, well, actually, you know, you want to see, if you want to see Maleficent in theaters just for the visuals, that's okay, but for the story, you could watch that at home, but 22 Jump Street, you definitely want to see it in theaters. It w was an awesome ride. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue with this format of seeing three movies and doing them, but I originally did a longer Maleficent review and I ended up deleting the video because of bad lighting like kinda like this video I don't know if I'm gonna delete this one but it was bad lighting and I think it disconnected halfway through so I wasn't able to actually keep it going anyway this has been fun review of these three movies that kinda have not that much in common <laughs>